so those of you who have been following my blog know that I've been moving away from optical systems and trying to look at other forms of other methods of detecting inputs for a multimodal and multi-touch hardware. Um, so two days ago, three days ago really, I bought myself an Arduino board um, and created this matrix that you see here. It's pretty simple. It's just a 2 3 by 2 matrix of uh, bidirectional LEDs. I'm trying to replicate Han's LED input detection method. So I've got my LEDs connected to my Arduino down here just using this plastic so to shield it don't cause any short circuits etc. It's got this little metal plate at the bottom. Um, okay so basically I wrote a little program in processing and first of all I wrote my Arduino program in the Arduino itself and then I wrote a pro in processing I just wrote a little uh, app to show the inputs and what how they behave when an input is detected so as we can see when we go over an input it turns to blue that so it's detection I've got a threshold level that I've set to detect it we can go over multiple inputs to detect it and cover the entire thing. So, if effect as an experiment, this works really effectively. But in terms of being utilized for an actual input detection method for any project, I'd say this is far from complete. First of all, right now I'm interfacing this directly to an Arduino. Ideally, if you wanted to make this large in a larger scale, you'd have to um, have a secondary connect a secondary board which connects to an Arduino where your LEDs are on your secondary board itself. So you have like an, um, the LEDs connected to a uh, A to D, which is connected to an Arduino using serial peripheral interface or something like that. But for an experiment it works pretty effectively. I found that like all methods, input detection methods, this thing is really sensitive to lighting conditions. Oddly enough, this thing works really well in daylight, but artificial lighting methods such as light bulbs and fluorescent lights, this is horrendous in that. It just doesn't work. I've had to really tinker around with it to get it to work as effectively as it's working at the moment. As you can see it's not as fast as I would like it to be but it, for an experiment it works pretty well. Alright, I'll upload the plans for this on my blog pretty soon. Alright guys.